Can eye strain lead to an increase in your glasses number? Yes, that is called pseudomyopia. Can doing some kind of eye yoga and stress relief reduce your glasses number? Yes, that is called pseudomyopia. Can reading in poor light in a dark room with a small light increase your number? Yes, that is called pseudomyopia. Today in this video, we are going to be discussing what is pseudomyopia. Hi, my name is Dr. Koheli Bhattacharya and welcome to my channel. Today, we will talk about very exciting and interesting things that is pseudomyopia. Thank you for asking this question in the comments and I think it's a such a valuable uh, topic and it has not been covered by many channels. So what is pseudomyopia? Pseudomyopia is basically that the machine shows that you have a minus number but in reality you don't have a minus number. Matlab, the machine is showing that you have myopia but in reality aapko myopia nahi hai, aapko chashme ka number nahi hai. So that is pseudomyopia. Now, why is pseudomyopia so important for you to know about? When people say ki computer dekhne se number bad jata hai. Actually, number nahi badta hai, pseudomyopia badta hai. When people say ki raat ko dark light mein, andhere mein padhai karne se number bad jata hai. Actually, number nahi badta hai, pseudomyopia badta hai. When people say ki uh, by doing some eye exercises and relaxing my eyes, uh, I reduced my number. Actually, the real number didn't get reduced. It was the pseudomyopia that got reduced. So you're understanding that even though you did not know the term pseudomyopia, it was affecting every conversation that you had about chashmeka number ya myopia. That is why this topic is really important. So let's begin from the beginning. Why does pseudomyopia happen? Now, we have a lens inside our eyes, right? So, the more the curvature of the lens happens, jitna zada wo round ho jata hai, the lens, utna zada chances that you have a pseudomyopia. Now, when does this lens inside our eye change shape? So, whenever aapko dhoor ki cheez dekhni hai, the lens of the eye flattens. And whenever you have to see something close by, like a book or a mobile or a laptop or anything near distance, then the lens automatically curves. And that is the magic of our eyes. That is the beauty of nature. That is the beauty of the human body. That you don't need to keep changing the lenses in your eye. The lens, the natural lens of the eye changes its shape. So, is se kya hota hai ki? You can see far, you can focus for far and for near, you can focus for near. Just like in your mobile or in your cameras, we have that focusing ability but in that multiple lenses are there. Here, only one lens can do the work by changing the shape, right? So, if you are seeing something nearby, like jaise ki you are reading your book for a very long time or you've been seeing your mobile for a very long time or you've been seeing your laptop for a very long time. Then in those conditions, the lens tends to be in that curved position for a long time because it's just gotten, you know, used to being used at that, in that distance. Okay. And when we go and put the, you know, check your glasses number, then you're going to get this kind of myopia, a minus number because the lens is curved. But this may not be a real number because we can flatten the lens. The lens can actually go back to natural position. So that is why a pseudomyopia. What other conditions may the lens stays in this position, in a curved position, causing pseudomyopia? Any kind of stress that you have, any kind of tension that you're taking, any kind of time when you're focusing very near. Another reason is when we put you on the machine and we tell you to relax and see that parachute or that house or that, uh, you know, hot air balloon in the distance and you are not really relaxing your eye to look at the distance. You are actually thinking that object like we are checking so the object must be really close. So it could be that you are very stressed while you are doing an eye examination. So in school screenings, when multiple like 300 children ka eye examination ho raha hai, those children don't know how to relax their eyes. So when they get tested on the machine, you might get a pseudomyopia or a high minus number. Or someone who is generally a type A personality, you will see that they are getting a high minus number. Any girls who come with a lot of, nahi, mujhe sir mein dukh raha hai, mujhe ye ho raha hai, bahut kuch ho raha hai, they when we put them on the machine will also have a high minus number, which is not the real number. So that is called pseudomyopia, when the lens is more curved and why we call it pseudo or false number or false myopia, because the lens can flatten. 
because we can, it is reversible right it is a reversible condition that is why we call it pseudomyopia so now how do we reverse it and how do we know if it is pseudomyopia or true myopia the answer to that is we put cycloplegic eye drops if you are in my clinic you would have noticed that for every single child we put uh, cycloplegic eye drops that means we will be putting uh, tropicamide or homide or cycloventolid or we will use homotropin or we will use um, atropin. So any of these are cycloplegic eye drops. What is a cycloplegic eye drop? It works on the muscles which attach to the lens inside your eye and they relax and that allows the lens to relax into its natural most relaxed state. When it is in its most relaxed state, the number which we get when the lens is in its most relaxed state is your true myopia. That is why after putting the cycloplegic drops, maybe for 15 minutes, maybe for 30 minutes, depending on what I think will be required to relax your lens, then whatever number comes is your true number. That is the number that most ophthalmologists will give, which is your true myopia number. Okay, and that is why when you have a number which is in a full relaxed lens, now what happens is that now generally any kind of vision therapy exercises will not work to reduce it more. Any kind of eye relaxing uh, exercises will not, uh, uh, you know, reduce it more because we've already given you the most relaxed number, right? So that is your true myopia. Now, when it happens that people give the pseudo myopia number, just remove your hand from the mic. Uh, so, whenever we give the number which is the pseudomyopia number, when do we land up giving the pseudomyopia number? A. Uh, in uh, uh, screening caps. B. In optometrist shops or optician shops where we are not putting cycloplegic eye drops. Uh, C. When we are checking uh, adults. Many a time when we are checking adults, we don't put cycloplegic eye drops because they don't want the relaxed eyes because after that you cannot drive. So many a time when we are checking adults, we don't put cycloplegic drops. We just ask them to look straight, relax your eyes, look at the balloon and take the number. So many a time when they've not relaxed, sometimes adults, patients also get missed and we just give them the number without giving them the, so a little bit of pseudomyopia may be mixed with true myopia understood so these are the conditions when there might be a chance that we've overcorrected for that number because we've not relaxed the lens now what happens is that if we give a number which is a pseudomyopia number or it is a mix of true myopia and pseudomyopia let me give you an example say the the true myopia was minus one and the pseudomyopia uh, addition is another 0.75. Generally, it's around 0.75, but it can be more also, okay? So, now the number is 1.75. So, we give the glasses of 1.75. Now, the patient wears the 1.75 glasses. And then, after a few days, what would happen is that they start to feel uh, strain. Sometimes, they will have the strain and then they will come back and we will give them a lesser number. Another thing can happen is that they um, get used to wearing the 1.75, not a problem. Then the third is that they do some kind of, uh, you know, eye exercises, relaxing exercises, or the next time they are checked, they are in a more relaxed state uh, and the number looks less. So many a time people think that because I wore my glasses for a long time, my number reduced. Not necessarily, it was maybe the pseudomyopia. Because I did some kind of eye exercises, my number reduced. Not necessarily, it was the pseudomyopia. Uh, because I did some kind of eye yoga, looked right, left, uh, started sleeping on time, ate carrots, uh, had a healthy diet, uh, multiple, all the other things which actually reduced your stress levels in your body. And that is why the lens relaxed. Uh, you say that your number has changed and your number has reduced. If we give the true myopia, that means if we put cycloplegia and given you the number, then generally the number doesn't change. So if you are seeing that your number is reducing because of any of these re reasons, that I did some eye exercises, I ate good nutritious food, I went to sleep on time, I um, am less stressed now, I use my mobile less, I don't read in the dark room now, uh, all the things that cause eye strain. If you reduce that, you might feel like your number has reduced. Actually, your number has not reduced. It is the pseudomyopia bit which has reduced. Generally, if you get it checked in our clinic, 
we will always put a cycloplegic eye drop and check your number so generally that number is the true number and no matter what you do the number doesn't change after you have given the true number uh, now we go on to how can we treat pseudomyopia exactly what i just suggested that pseudomyopia happens when you have eye strain so anything which uh, causes the eyes to fail strain will lead the lens to be in a spherical form so how can you just relax your you know relax the lens one thing is to look 20 feet away and focus on something really far because when you focus on something far you are forcing the lens to flatten so you can use a heart chart you can use a chart uh, which is 20 feet away you can focus on uh, a balloon or a tree or a leaf or some writing, uh, writing on a billboard really far away to relax your eyes. So these are some ways that you can relax your eyes. The 20-20-20 uh, exercise will also relax your eyes. You can do some cupping exercises to just relax your eyes. You can read in a bright room to relax yourself. You can do meditation to relax yourself. You can uh, go for a walk. Uh, and feel relaxed and uh, feel the pseudomyopia is less. You can deep breathe and uh, you know reduce your strain and stress and also uh, reduce the pseudomyopia. You can move your eye in circles or clockwise, anti-clockwise to all the infinity movements, any kind of eye yoga if you feel like doing uh, that will also reduce the eye strain and reduce the pseudomyopia. Even just farming or cupping also helps to you know reset your uh, you know focus uh, and that can also help you with pseudomyopia. So anything that will reduce the eye strain should take down the pseudomyopia. But there are certain conditions when it's very very uh, very strong and these are the conditions when someone is very anxious, uh, very uh, having a lot of headache uh, and see the thing is that when you have headache, the muscles go into spasm. And when the muscles go into spasm, the more headache you have. So it's like one this loop. So in those conditions, we put the cycloplegic eye drops. One drop, three times, every 10 minutes. And you'll see that all of the strain, all of the pseudomyopia goes. And then the body has its own way of, again, resetting. So many a time, we just put one drop of the cycloplegic and any of that pseudomyopia and eye strain is immediately corrected. Of course, you are then not able to see anything nearby because we have taken away the power to for the muscle to contract. But these are multiple ways that we can deal with pseudomyopia. So I hope this video has helped you to understand ki what is pseudomyopia. Okay, one last thing. How do you know? Is it pseudomyopia or true myopia? Sometimes we don't know. Sometimes the only way to test if it is there is putting a cycloplegic eye drop and com comparing uh, the before the cycloplegic what was the number and after the cycloplegic what was the number. This is one of the simplest easiest ways to do it. Now here are certain other ways that we do it. We use a retinoscope. So this is a retinoscope and this way we ask them to focus on something near and then we ask them to focus on something far and this way we are able to find out if the, the lens or the ciliary muscle is too much into spasm and this is called dynamic refraction. So by doing dynamic refraction we are able to understand if someone is having pseudomyopia. Another way of knowing if you have pseudomyopia is if the number is continuously changing every time you are taking the auto refraction. So if the number is going to minus 4, then it's going to minus 2 and then it's going to minus 3. You know the number is continuously fluctuating every time you press the button. Then you know that the lens is continuously you know, changing shape and that is a good opportunity for you to put a cycloplegic eye drops. Uh, so these are advanced tips uh, especially if you are an ophthalmologist or an optometrist uh, watching this video. Um, so yes, these are certain clues that can guide you towards um, pseudomyopia. Also someone who comes to the clinic and is reading 6-6 but has a lot of strain uh, they continuously say that uh, I have a lot of eye strain I have a lot of headache but they have 6-6 vision so don't be tempted to give those minus 0.25 minus 0.5 which is coming on the machine because that might be pseudomyopia and that is a good opportunity to put one drop of cycloplegic and actually test do they have the number so many a time optical shops will give these very small numbers 0.25 something something and say ki ye headache ke liye chashma hai headache ke liye koi bhi chashma nahi hota hai dekhne ke liye chashma hota hai so mostly this is a pseudomyopia number and whenever we 
put cycloplegic eye drops, this number completely goes away. So whenever someone's coming with a headache, always try to uh, test them with the cycloplegic eye drops. I hope this video really helped you and share it with another person who uh, needs to know more about pseudomyopia or thinks that some kind of eye exercises is going to change their number. Thank you.